In this video, we're going to talk about how we can use the XVIZ waterfall chart to provide functionality above and beyond the default waterfall chart included in Power BI. So right now we have a default waterfall chart set up with the XVIZ waterfall chart visual. You see that we have our quantity sold shown over each quarter. So after quarter one, we're at 2.6 million and it rises throughout the quarters. And finally, we end up with 9.3 million for the final balance. The XVIZ waterfall chart allows us to actually add two different measures to this visual. So if we add a, uh, another measure here, such as shipped, we put that above our sold, we are now showing the difference between the two measures. So now we're not just visualizing one calculation, we're showing the variance between the two, and this is called variance analysis. So this is easily done within the XVIZ waterfall chart visual just by adding two measures to your value well. Another powerful feature is the ability to create an intermediate sum. So I'm going to get rid of our shipped and now we're back to our default waterfall chart. We can create an intermediate sum by clicking on this pencil icon and enabling the intermediate sum. And it allows us to select between a sum or a running sum. I'll select sum for this demo. We'll click the plus button and then it allows us to provide a name. I'm going to call this mid-year because I'm going to create a mid-year sum and then it's gonna ask where we wanna put this intermediate sum. I'm gonna put it after quarter two. So I effectively have an intermediate sum after my first two quarters. So after quarter one and quarter two, I have a mid-year total of 5.3 million. And then I have 2 million in quarter three, another 2 million in quarter four, which gives me a final balance of 9.3 million. If I click this back to report, I am now showing an intermediate sum at the mid-year, and then I have my final balance. The XVIZ waterfall chart also allows you to perform breakdown analysis. So I will get rid of my intermediate sum. And now I'm just gonna move one item from this category, such as customer category, to the breakdown well. And now I have my breakdown over the customer category between my specified date periods. So from quarter one to quarter two, we see that the difference in the novelty shop was a positive 0.1 million. So that basically says that I had 0.1 million more quantity sold in quarter two than quarter one. And similarly, I had 11.8 thousand more quantity sold in quarter two than quarter one. So we see the breakdown of each individual category based on one quarter versus the next. So we're easy to get a nice breakdown depending on the values that we are throwing in the category in breakdown wells. Another powerful feature of the XVIZ visual is the ability to open up the context menu, which allows you to enable deviation bars to see the difference between different bars and the ability to sort by different fields. So I'm gonna do that by bringing my customer category back up to the category and adding my shipped back in the values. So we're back to two measures showing that variance analysis. We can open the context menu by right clicking this data label and selecting a, something to sort by. For example, I can sort by the variance or variance percent. I will sort by variance percent. And then we can also enable the deviation. And doing so, we can click on a bar and see its deviation from bar to bar. So we see there was an increase from this bar to this bar, then another increase, and then we can also see the increase to the final balance. So that is a way to easily see the difference between bars in your report. Since we have a hierarchy, it's easy to get lost on what level of the hierarchy we're currently looking at. The XVIZ waterfall chart has a really helpful feature that allows us to show a breadcrumb or what we drilled from and what we drilled to. We do that by going to the formatting options and going to X axis and switching on the show title option. So this is going to show the current level of the hierarchy. And you notice that we are on the quarter level. If we were to drill down, to the customer category level, we see that it now shows customer category. But if we drill back up, and let's say we drill into a specific quarter, let's say quarter three, we're now drilled down into quarter three, and there's a breadcrumb showing us that we are currently in quarter three, and now showing us our different categories along the bottom for the specific level that we are on in the hierarchy. We're also able to create axis breaks, which help in case the scale of your visuals cause the deviation to be very difficult to visualize. I actually have axis break enabled on this visual right now, but we can turn it off by going to the Y axis settings 
in finding the axis break option. If I turn that off, you'll see that the variations are very small compared to the values of each measure. So we want to be able to see the variations in a larger scale. So we turn on that axis break and it, you'll see that these lines appear showing that this scale is actually broken from zero to 1.5 million. It's minimized so that we can view the variance in a much nicer view. There are also a lot of options in order to customize the data label shown on your visual. To do so, we can open up the formatting options and under the data labels uh, category, we can switch between showing both the variance and variance percentage. If I select variance percentage, we'll see that now our data labels only show that percentage. We can show the orientation as vertical or horizontal. We can select if we want to show the placement inside or outside overlapping data labels or with a background, a bunch of different options to customize the data labels exactly how you like it. Another amazing feature of this visual is the ability to use the utility menu. This menu is going to allow you to either select items within your visual or zoom in dynamically. To do so, we need to look for the utility menu options and we will switch that on. Mine is already on. There are options to enable PNG or enable PDF which allow you to export pictures or PDFs directly from Power BI service, or we have the option to select with a lasso, reverse lasso, or zoom method. So that's gonna open up this three lines here that we can open up the menu, and we have the options lasso, reverse lasso, and zoom. So if I click on zoom, we can zoom by just dragging, and now we're zoomed in. We can zoom in even further if we want to, or we can reset the zoom. If we select lasso, that's going to allow us to select something within our current selection. So now you see that only the two bars that I selected are now showing as highlighted. And we can also click on reverse lasso, which is just the opposite. If I select these two bars, it's going to highlight everything else that wasn't in my selection. So that's very powerful and also works to cross filter other visuals on the page. In case space is an issue within your report, you can flip the orientation of your report from vertical to horizontal. We can do that by going up to the chart options and selecting chart orientation, either vertical or horizontal. So we want a horizontal report. And let's say we had a more vertical view. We can maybe uh, make that a little bit smaller and make our visual fit in a skinnier area, or we can flip it back to vertical in case we have ample room. You can also uh, reverse the X and Y axes with the reverse axis option. So you see that our X axis is now reversed, or we can do the same thing with the Y axis. In the Y axis options, we can look for reverse axis, and now it's the opposite orientation. So a lot of different ways to customize the way that your visual will display. Finally, once you've created the waterfall chart to look the way you want, you can open up this little tabular editor, the summary table. If you click on that button, it'll now show you all of your data in tabular form. Also, if you scroll down in the options, you will see something for summary table. You can click on the advanced table options and that will allow you to create a pivot table directly within this visual. So it's actually enabling you to create a matrix on the fly behind the visual itself. And then once you're all done, you can export to Excel directly with this export to Excel button. In a short amount of time, we're able to cover 10 amazing features that will enable you to create truly powerful waterfall charts with this XViz visual.